Hey guys, welcome back. Um, last time we talked about, we did um, a look at, we took a look at Disney and their stock and kind of got into their their stock. We looked at the DES screen, remember the descript description screen, and then also the um, GP screen showing the last year's uh, stock performance. Uh, while you're learning this on Bloomberg, I really urge you to take notes, kind of make sure you're putting, writing down a lot of the um, kind of screens we're looking at, because those are going to be kind of the main things that you're going to use if when you start researching your own stock. Feel free to pause these videos. I know I go fast. I, I know this stuff fairly well. So when you're learning it, make sure you're going slow, pausing it, click around. It's, it's fairly user friendly once you kind of figure out where to go in the system. So um, like last time we started out, we can type it again. Uh, we'll do, um, oops, we'll start out with DIS equity. Um, and uh, Bloomberg is fairly, is, uh, user friendly now it's kind of an autocomplete so you can type in dis any y you don't know the ticker uh, you scroll down oh there it is dis equity go there and then typically uh, we'll go to gp and to see that line chart again now remember last time we talked about how we can see this volume on the bottom and we also see the stock chart on, on the top so if we look at last year's stock it was going up 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 huge volume spike here in about late July and then it started fall, falling down. Now what happened there? Um, we can look, remember last time we looked at the annotate tab? This time we'll look at the news and you see this going back and forth. I usually go right about where that volume tick is. Click on that. This news will show up and you can see um, a couple of things. Uh, these are kind of the main stories from that time. Um, uh, U.S. media companies hit by sell-off as Walt Disney revises outlook uh, for ESPN. Okay, so you can click there for the full story, and that's probably the reason for the big sell-off, probably the revision in, in, in their outlook. Uh, sometimes these are for mergers. Uh, a lot of different things could, it could, could be the case. Uh, so that's why I always like to click on these, and you can typically get probably the biggest stories from the last year uh, doing that. So we've done GP, we have done DES. Another one I would like to look at is uh, CN, uh, that's for company news. And so when you're on Disney and you look up uh, company news, you can see this is searching the Walt Disney Company and it's giving you the top stories kind of from the last couple, uh, um, the last 20 last stories. On the right side, you see the time. So this is all time where these are all from today. So uh, you can start scrolling and it'll go to the next page um, or you can narrow your search to uh, look up anything that you like. Um, so for instance, I would maybe look up earnings and uh, typically it'll give you some type of earnings uh, from the last from the last earnings call. So we've done company news now. Um, I typically look at that every so often if something's big's happening or if I'm following something really closely, I make sure nothing's hit kind of in recently. And then you can also look up news like we showed you from the GP screen uh, as well. Um, another thing I will look at is sometimes if I'm actually trading on the day, GIP will give you kind of the daily trades uh, that are happening. So this is kind of just very short, uh, tick by tick just in one day and you can see if it's trading up, trading down uh, where the trades are, are going. But anyway, that's going to be the tip for today. When we talked about um, GP, we went through that. Uh, we also went through company news and how you can find the most important company news. And uh, then I showed you kind of a GIP, which will be intraday. So just today's um, stock stuff. So uh, enjoy. Keep messing around with it. Keep watching these videos. Um, I like to kind of keep these short, uh, below five minutes, uh, to kind of keep your attention, but also so you can kind of grasp a couple concepts and then go along with that. So anyway, thanks so much.